Anne Frank's Diary, the graphic adaptation. It was recently removed from the Vero Beach High School Library after a parent group expressed concerns. We think true history absolutely needs to be taught. The Holocaust, the Anne Frank Diary. Jennifer Pippen chairs the Indian River County chapter of Moms for Liberty. She argues in one graphic scene, Frank asks a friend to expose themselves to one another. When you see Anne Frank, it is not the diary. It is something in our in our minds very, very different. I spoke with Dr. Kira Shafty, Director of Academic Compliance and Equity for the district. She said the original diary of Anne Frank is still in school libraries. The graphic adaptation was removed after it was brought to the attention of the principal, and it was determined some of its text did not contribute to the themes of Holocaust education. When districts address Holocaust education, it does so without denying or minimizing the events of Holocaust education. Books being removed from school libraries has been one of the more controversial topics this year. In Indian River County, a newly created District Objection Committee met for the first time this week. It's made up of nine people, a mixture of parents appointed by school board members and district employees, including someone with an educational media specialist certificate. The committee will meet if there are formal challenges for books to be removed district-wide. Shafty says the district is proud of the work principals are doing as initial gatekeepers. And in changing times and keeping up with statutes and policies, um, they're doing a fantastic job. While there are no formal book challenges to discuss yet, Pippin says her group has about 250 titles they plan to challenge in the future. John Shaman, WPTV, News Channel 5.